Hi, welcome to the fourth video in our video series about how to build a custom course membership platform. My name is Joshua and in this video we are going to implement our custom email service. Uh, we are going to implement Brevo and to implement Brevo we are not going to use SMTP, we are directly going to use their API and to be able to use directly their API with payload we are going to write our own little custom email adapter. Now, to get started, you need a Brevo API key. For that, please create yourself a Brevo account. They have a relatively generous free plan. Go to SMTP and API. We're gonna go to API keys and generate a new API key. Gonna name it LMS U I YouTube. Generate and we can copy it. Then let's go into our environment variables. Gonna need several environment variables in order for Brevo to work. The first is gonna be Bre Brevo API key. Then we're going to need a Bre Brevo emails active. This is just a flag for us to tell the server that it should send emails at all. For example, if you have a beta environment, you want to set this on false, because if you accidentally trigger something that sends a lot of emails in your beta environment to actual emails, that would be very bad. So for this to not to happen, we're gonna implement a flag, send emails out at all or not. Now, we are gonna set this on for true, obviously, this time. And then, gonna have Brevo sender name, in this case, it's I. Oh yeah, what are we going to take? Just take my name or your name <laughs> and a Brevo sender email, which in this case we're going to use the info at 10xmedia.de email. This should be all the environment variables we need for this. You can okay close this. This is now working. We don't need it anymore. Now, as we are here, we've set this up. Now we can come to writing our own little email adapter. Let's go into payload and in here. No, we don't need it here. We're going to do it in the source directory. Let's create a new folder. Name it utils. And in utils there, we're going to create Brevo. Brevo adapter dot js. Now this Brevo adapter in principle just needs Axios ah not js ah old habits dot ts from Axios and we're gonna already import the send email options from payload so it's typed declared but never used okay now um, you sh also need to install pay uh, axios we do pnpm e axios I already installed it previously so it does not do a lot but yeah let's get to the Brevo adapter and I declare const Brevo adapter and then inside of this we're gonna declare an adapter And this adapter basically just returns a configuration for an email adapter, for a typical email adapter with payload. And it has a name, in this case, Brevo, and a function that sends out email, send email. This is going to be an async function that takes a message and that is of the type email, send email options, and it returns a promise unknown. Now, in here, we um, we are first going to check if I what does this want? Okay, we're gonna resolve that in a minute. Here, we first want to check for our flag if we want to send an email out at all. So we're gonna do a process, we're gonna 
do here um, exclam exclamation mark process dot env dot brevo emails active and if this is true we're gonna lock emails this disabled we're gonna lock simply lock the email to the console logging to console and lock the message to the console then we can return now if we arrive here we actually want to send out emails we're gonna wrap all of this in a, cr cr uh, in a try catch catch error error <laughs> i gonna simply lock the error if an error happens error sending email with brevo error and in here we are going to declare or we're going to use axios to send the request to the brevo api to send out the email now we're gonna have a return result object it's from a wait axios and in here we want to make a post request to the brevo url url which is https slash uh, double colon slash 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 api dot brevo dot com slash v3 slash smtp slash email <coughs> and this also takes headers and in headers we're gonna set our api key api key process dot env dot brevo api key as string and we're gonna do con content type application json and accept ap application json now we have set the header we now need to set the data or the body of the request we simply set this by doing sender or br the brief api wants a sender and the sender has a name Pr we're gonna take this from our variant variables but obviously you can also set this dynamically um, later on because you can use this send email function um, throughout your project and we're gonna do that later on but for now we're gonna simply gonna use a standard we're gonna use process dot env dot brevo sender name as string and email process dot env dot brevo sender email as string and when we got the sender we also need a two and this could be in theory an array because you can send to multiple recipients but we are simply going to send it to you one and that is the email that is specified in the message object object <coughs> and finally we need a subject message dot subject and we need an html content message dot html now this the final thing we need to do here is we want to return rest.data and we also need to return our adapter return adapter okay ah and of course we need to export our brevo adapter export default brevo for adapter and this should be done now we can go into our payload config and in our payload config we need to uh, we can do that pretty much anywhere we're just gonna say here below admin we're gonna configure email and set this to brevo adapter and don't forget the braces to call it email wait why does it not want to do this Okay, the problem is that email expects something of type email adapter. 
So we're simply gonna specify here that it returns an email adapter. We save it, we save it here and the error is gone. Now we saved everything. Let's restart our payload server and it's time to test it. Let's, okay, it's gonna take a moment again. Okay, in order to test this, I want to send the password reset email from the login dashboard or from the login page to my inbox. For this, I need to change this to an email I receive. So joshua.schmidt at 10 xmediade Gonna save this. This should work and log out. Now I'm gonna request a forgot email. Josh Schmidt, uh, Joshua.schmidt, 10xmedia.de, submit. Now, is there anything submission successful? Okay, this is gonna be a little cut for you because I'm gonna look into my email po um, post box if it arrived. Okay, I hope you did not do the same mistake as I did. In our Brevo adapter, <laughs> I misspelled Brevo and I misspelled SMTP, so please correct this as well if you typed it wrong with me. And also, it's gonna uh, display an error here for return adapter because our return adapter or the email adapter wants by default a default from name and a default from address. You can simply use what we configured here. And if you've done all of this correctly, then we will be able to see in our email inbox, you're receiving this. This is the password reset from our server. So I hope this was useful to you. If so, stay tuned for the next tutorial. We are nearly done. No, we are done for now with the setup. Everything else that needs setup, we're gonna do along the way. And in the next tutorial, we're going to start with logging in people. And then of course, building a password reset function for them as well. And yes, stay tuned for the next video. If you want to hear more from us, subscribe to the channel or you can also receive a newsletter. The link is in the description. See you in the next time. Bye.